Thank you for joining us on the WTF Moment of the Week. But a limousine pulls up in the parking lot and two beautiful women step out. They start randomly arguing over which match they're more excited for. What the fuck? Okay, I didn't know who the hell they were, but they're all kinds of roll tied. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, well, if you blow in one's ear, then you'd hear <sighs> coming out the other side. Anyway. Wow. Good lord. <laughs> Speaking of useless, uh, the two beautiful women from earlier walk into a dressing room with Tori Wilson and Stacey Keebler. The two nameless women say that Stacey At this point, is... I had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, the two nameless women say that Stacey is a marketing genius coming up with testicles. Which are the name of Test's fans. Coming up uh-huh. with testicles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stacy tells them that her new marketing campaign will blow people away. Or in oh, window. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they then go to see whatever it is. Cool. Giggity! God. Full, full of them. There's another one. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Uh, yeah. That's which I said. Right. <laughs> so anyway yeah that uh show will not we're not make, done with these will not be posted will not make air <laughs> well, we're in the locker room now with stacy keebler tori wilson and the nameless catfight girls again they're all talking uh excuse me they're all taking pictures together and talking about their excitement for wrestlemania stacy and tori argue over whether vince mcmahon or hulk hogan made wrestlemania what it is and then storm off uh, the catfight girls then argue about the same thing, and then they argue over whether to resolve this issue in the ring or in bed. They then decide to settle it in bed. What the fuck? I I had no complaints about this. I, it's just like <laughs> this was like a bad porno, like not even a good one. Just like a. We're just coming off of HLA. Don't forget, dude. I swear to God, at first. I thought that's who these two were. I'm like, are these one of them was? Quote, I looked it up. One of them was. Oh she was God. at Unforgiven. Uh, the one with the brown hair. She was at Unforgiven wow. when uh, Rikishi was like, when uh, Steph was, Stephanie was supposed to make out a lesbian, ended up being Rikishi dressed in drag, which is clear oh as God. day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, one, one of the girls there was the brown haired one here. Yeah, for, for those. It's, for those that don't know, uh, you can Google what the hell HLA was in WWE. But, uh, oh, trust me, in preparation for the show, I did. Uh, make sure everybody clears your browsing history after that one. Or so apparently this, was a, mode. apparently this was a, a commercial for the Super Bowl, this uh, Budweiser commercial with these two in it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they said something about it later on. I was like, what the f- See, okay. I'm, a, I'm a pro. I do all my research. Oh, yeah, especially when it comes to, uh, to you know, hot chicks uh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but, totally. Uh, I was... I was going to say, well, like when when their limo first pulled up and they walked out, I literally was like, are these the lesbians? <laughs> That's what I said on their locker room door. <laughs> yeah. for the Again, for go look that, it up. Yep. They, they're Chiron. When they came out to the ring, said <laughs> the lesbians. <laughs> like, oh, that's where not they just, were. They, not just two lesbians. The. <laughs> hey, man, they put the L and LGBT. There you go. <laughs> But up next, uh, Jonathan Coachman appeals to you because he's in a Mariners jersey, and he introduces. Yeah, I, like I don't want to strangle. Like I already don't want to strangle him. Yeah, right. Uh, but then he introduces the Miller Lite Catfight Girls to come out and get in a large bed. Stacy Keebler then comes out and says that this would be better as a triple threat, and she joins in. I, Wilson, I'm going to 100% agree. But well, then Tori Wilson comes out and says that they're going to make this a fatal four way match. Rips off her own top, and then attacks Stacy. All four women start ripping at each other's clothes. The segment ends Dude, with... ROTC Coach... match. <laughs> uh, the... Hey, was Stacy in that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. The segment ends when Coach gets pants, and the four women pose together for drop-top titty tipping time. What the fuck? Uh, I think I've done that for all but one of these women's segments. Good God. Anything to say about drop top titty tipping time that we just had with Coach? No, because you know you put Coach in there, you automatically ruin it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the thing we've all been waiting for this in, throughout all of WrestleMania is, is Jonathan Coachman in his undies. 
Now that is what you call a WrestleMania. WrestleMania. I mean, just life. Yeah, man. That, well, that's a WrestleMania moment, Greg. I don't know why that's not in all the highlight packages nowadays. Uh, maybe it's because he had scantily clad women in there. Ugh, God. Ask me, he's the luckiest son bitch on the planet, but <laughs> what do I know? What the fuck? This has been the WTF moment of the week.